Hello everybody, I'm Storm here. Welcome back to Dyson Sphere Program. In the last episode, we continued working on our production chain that will eventually yield us warpers. And we've gotten up to the point where we're making uh, these electric motors. We have our magnets, we have our gears, we have our motors. And lots and lots and lots of assemblers. And that is still going to be the theme as we continue uh, our building here. So, for the next few stages, just to kind of go over, I have queued in a whole bunch more assemblers. I think I've figured out how many I need. So, I'm in the process of manufacturing them now. So, we need to take our motors and upgrade them to electromagnetic turbines. Which we should need, or be able to make, six per second of these, which will take 12 assemblers. And then we can turn the electromagnetic turbines into particle containers. Which we'll be able to make three per second of those, which will need 12 more assemblers. And then we can make strange matter, which we can make... 1.5 per second of these, which will need 12 assemblers. And then we can make our graviton lenses at 1.5, which will need 1.5 per second, which will need nine assemblers, right? And then we can make our warpers at a rate at 1.5 per second, which will need 15 assemblers. So that is where we're at. And that will probably strain the entire capabilities of this all-star system uh, to do this. So, um, with... with these warpers, we will be ready to move on to other star systems and begin building much larger, much more, you know, hopefully organized and planned infrastructure and all that sort of stuff. So, yeah. So, let's get to it. We should have our first few. Yep, we got our 24 assemblers here. So, we need to take our... Our motors from here. And some magnets from there. What are the rates? 12 per second and 12 per second. Okay, no problem. So that's a green belt there. I think the easiest way to do this is going to be to go up a level. Uh, no. My, my hand moved at the last second there. It's going to come down here. And through there. Okay. And that's all I need for the inputs. And then our outputs are going to be at, what, 6 per second, right? So, probably even just a Mark 1 conveyor should be fine, but we'll, we'll keep the Mark 2s. And you're going to be making the turbines. There we go. And we know how many a dozen are, right? 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, that's how long a dozen is. So, we just mirror... We need to go to there. I would need to go to there. That would go to there. That should be... Yep. Twelve. Now, I do need some boxes, but we've got a while before I'll get any boxes, but that's fine. I know where the boxes are going to be, right? All right, so then the next thing is what? Our particle containers. Which will take our 12 per second or our 6 per second. Right. Plus copper plus graphene. Okay. Let's see. That is how many? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And another dozen assemblers. With three inputs, right? Yes, all at 12, uh, no, all at like six per second, which is fine. making particle containers. Let's see, yeah, we're doing it like this. You in there, you in there, and you in there, and then you out of there. numbers making sure we uh, got that correct all right yes so actually no that is, that is a good spot for that So they'll be taking in those from there. Am 
might as well go ahead and queue in the boxes. So I'll need two boxes for those. Get that in there. And then we'll need copper and graphene. So then that will be copper. Sure. I don't think I have enough outputs here. I should. And you are going to be graphing. All right. So then, if we do the one, two, three, four, and then the next line, which is then going to be taking these particle containers and turning them into strange matter. Right? Yes. With a dozen more. Yes, a dozen more. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and so we need three inputs again. Actually, for these, we're going to go ahead and we're going to use um, the lower tier belt because the numbers should be fine. Everything's going to be a lot slower here. So, one, two, three, four. There's that belt, that belt, and that belt. And this output belt, there. And you are making no... Particle colliders. Oh, crud. These are made in replicators. Okay, hold on. We'll let those create, and then we'll go ahead and we'll cancel these. We need particle colliders. Ooh. Which are you guys? Oh, my. Not impossible. We need a dozen of these. And they require 50 of those per. All right, well, we are going to have to go back to Mintaka 2 to make those. Okay. All right, I, I wasn't paying attention when I looked at this before. I thought that was just assemblers, but no. No, no, no. That's assemblers. 
and that's assemblers. Okay. All right, well, let's, uh, let's head back because I don't have the materials here that I need. Is it actually in front of the gas giant or behind it? I think it's in front. Okay. Here we are. So, for these particle colliders, we are going to need tons of titanium alloy. All right, let's go grab as much as I can. I still do have a little bit that I manually made over here. There we go. All right, we are going to need... These guys also need the titanium alloy. We're gonna need some silicon, which we have. And we're gonna need some carbon nanotubes, which we definitely have, so that's fine. I can pilfer some silicon from over here. And some carbon nanotubes. From there, don't know how many exactly we're gonna need, but that's fine. Um, we're gonna need some graphene, we have that, and we're gonna need Tons and tons and tons of these super magnetic rings, which I do have those in storage. So, there we go. Okay. I can now make three. Um, we're going to need a bunch of processors, which I can also pilfer from over here. Okay. I can still only make three. Why can we only make three? Let's let's get three in the queue and oh, where are we at? Uh, carbon nanotubes, I believe. can now make seven, which if we do six more, that'll bring us up to nine. So then we'll need three more, which means we need more super magnetic rings. Done. And we're short. More carbon nanotubes. Okay.
So then I should be able to do two more. There we go. Uh, that's a lot of processors to be hanging on to, but you know what? We'll use them. Yeah, it's already full up. Give me, like, a bunch more of those, too, while we're at it. Nine hundred and seventy seconds to manufacture all of these. All right, well. We'll start on our way back. Gotta find Mintaka 4. There it is. There goes shipments of silicon. Well, that was that was fortunate, a landing position. All right, so right for you guys. Let's get these manufacturing a little bit. What are, what are you doing? What, what what are you doing? There we go. So there we are. We still need those boxes, so we'll get there. All right, miniature particle colliders, I believe, are what we need. Now, these are far larger. That should serve, and you guys are going to make strange matter, all right? Okay. Probably gonna bump into that stone vein. That's fortunate. All right. Well, let's run our belts up to that point, and then we'll see how many we can get in. See, it's on that grid.
Hmm. Getting those things manufactured somewhere might not be a bad idea. I mean, they're not that hard to make. So that I have a, a supply kicking around. All right, so you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's that is gonna take a lot of space. How's power looking? Eh, we're close. We'll probably need to bring over some power generators, some solar panels, some wind turbines to keep this thing running. Iron in transit. Now we're filling this thing up. So yeah, once we fire up the particle colliders and the rest of this, it's gonna probably push us over the edge of power. Especially if we put demands on the rest of the planet. So yeah, we'll have to. I'll have to bring over some more stuff, but we'll probably do that off screen. And I think at this point with like another 500 some odd seconds, I have to wait before I can do anything. We'll go ahead and stop here for today. I think a little bit short, but that's all right. I miscalculated what I needed. So oh, there it is. Alright, so yeah, we'll go ahead and stop here. We'll finish this up next time. And then we might actually get around to flying to another star system and seeing what we've got. Alright, so for now, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.